In this problem, a balloon is being inflated by a pump at a rate of 24 cubic inches per second. How fast is the diameter of the balloon increasing when the radius is 2 inches? Let's start off by drawing the balloon, which is going to be a sphere. Why don't we make it look a little bit three-dimensional by doing this? Uh, we're, why don't we let this be the radius, call that r, and the distance all the way across will be the diameter. Now, the volume of this sphere, as we know, is 4 thirds pi r cubed. What about the given, what are we given in this question and what are we looking for? What do we want? Well, we're given that the balloon is being inflated. The volume is going to be changing at this rate right here, 24 cubic inches per second. So we're given that the volume is changing at 24 cubic inches per second. And what do we want? We want to find the change of the diameter, the rate of change of the diameter when the radius is two inches. So that would be, that would look like this, right? DD DT when R is equal to two. Now, it's not a big deal at all, but this, I find this kind of looks weird writing DD like that. So it's not necessary, but I just want to change the diameter from lowercase d to uppercase d. I find it looks just a little bit nicer even though it's really not relevant at all. Okay, so one thing about this question is this volume is in terms of r, but we really want to find a rate of change involving the diameter d. But that's not really a big deal. We'll see how to handle that later. We're pretty much going to solve the problem uh, as dr dt when r is 2. And once we know that answer, it'll be really easy to find the change of the diameter with respect to time, which is really what we're looking for. So to start this off, let's find the implicit derivative with, with respect to time of this equation here. So dv dt is the derivative of v with respect to time. How do we take the derivative of this side with respect to time? Well, 4 thirds pi is just a constant. It can be pulled out front. Uh, derivative of r cubed with respect to t is 3r squared multiplied by dr dt. And notice these threes cancel. So we can rewrite this as dv dt equals 4 pi r squared dr dt. But dv dt is a constant, it's just 24, right? So we can write this, I'll go over here, as I replace dv dv dt by 24. So we get 24 equals 4 pi r squared dr dt. And let's solve for dr dt. dr dt will be 24 over 4 pi r squared. Uh, 4 can be, we can simplify this a little bit. I guess 4 is, will cancel off here. Uh, so we get dr dt is 6 over pi r squared. Now, we're in a position right now to find dr dt when r is 2. Why don't we do that? So dr dt when r is equal to 2 is easy to find. We just replace r by 2. And uh, that's 4, right? 2 squared is 4. 6 over 4 is really 3 over 2. So that's 3 over 2 pi. Now, that's not really what we want, though. We want, this is the change in radius with respect to time when r is 2. We really want the change in diameter at that instant. So it's easy, though, because we know that the diameter is 2 times the radius, right? So if we start off with this formula now, and let's take the derivative, derivative with respect to time. So d, d, dt is 2 times dr, dt. And now we're ready to go. d, d, dt, when r is 2, is simply 2 multiplied by dr, dt, when r is 2. But we know what that is. It's uh, 
3 over 2 pi. And those 2's cancel, right? I'll just get a little bit more space here. Those 2's cancel. And so we get our final answer being 3 over pi. And the units on our question here is in inches per second. But actually, uh, yeah, inches per second. And that, that would be our exact answer. We could find the decimal version of that. It's 0 0.95. So that would be our approximate answer. All right, so that completes this question.